media portion of the survey this year is really interesting. Um, first of all, it's interesting because media was the one institution globally that we saw go up in trust. Um, it's been low for the past few years. So the notion that media as an institution is becoming more trusted is really interesting. And we spent a lot of time looking at those numbers to understand why that could be. Um, and I think there are a number of different factors. The first is that the, the, the growth of media consumption around the cloverleaf is causing people to, who have access to a wider range of information to be able to choose the information that they're getting and therefore trust the information that they choose. You also tend to see um, people by and large tending to trust their primary source of media. So we know, for example, that young people in emerging markets, that is 18 to 29s, tend to go to social media and digital media for almost every need. Not surprisingly, they also trust digital and social media more than other cohorts in the survey. We know, for example, that um, parents tend to pay more attention to social media um, and tend to be, therefore, more trusting in social media. We know that um, older people and more conservative types tend to have a slightly higher trust score for traditional media. What all of this shows us, though, is that it is not a seesaw, that a rise in social media necessarily needs to be followed by a, uh, a, a, a fall off in traditional media. The fact that there is a dispersion of media and that people, as I said, are able to go and select the media that they choose means, generally speaking, that people are more inclined to trust what they've chosen. The fact that we can select the media sources that we want to go to makes us more trusting in those things that we've selected.